All right, we are going to verify if this equation, x is equal to 2 cosine t minus 3 sine t, a solution to this differential equation, x double prime plus x is equal to 0. As you can see, this differential equation right here, we are talking about the second derivative, right? So that means we have to come with the second derivative first. Right here, let's differentiate it twice. So let's get to work. Here we have x prime. It will be the derivative of 2 cosine t it is negative 2 sine t. And then the derivative of negative 3 sine t is negative 3 cosine t, isn't it? And one more time. x double prime for the second derivative, this will be the derivative of this, which is negative 2 cosine t. And the derivative of negative 3 cosine t, derivative of cosine t is negative sine t. But this was negative, right? So altogether, you are adding. So we add 3 sine t. The derivative of negative 3 cosine t is positive 3 sine t. And now, all we have to do is plugging the second derivative and also the original into this equation and we'll verify if this is correct or not. And if it's correct, then it is a solution. If it's not, then it's not a solution. So let's get to work. This right here, go here, right? So we will have negative 2 cosine t plus 3 sine t for the second derivative, right? And we are going to add it with the original, which is that. You will see it is 2 cosine t minus 3 sine t. Do we end up with 0? Yes, I think so, right? Because we are just adding, you can see this and that, they cancel each other out. Likewise, 3 sine t, this is negative 3 sine t, they also cancel each other out. So you end up with 0, it's of course equal to 0, and that means, yes, that is a solution to this differential equation, and that's it.